New Year from Tampa, Florida. It's warm and humid on Florida's Gulf Coast as two of college football's most legendary programs ring in 2007. It's the Volunteers of Tennessee with a record of 9-3 and three against the 8-4 and four Nittany Lions of Penn State in the Outback Bowl. What great memories will be created today? Will Hoyt to kick it away for Tennessee. He's the senior, and Kinlaw and A.J. Wallace are deep for the Nittany Lions of Penn State. A.J. Wallace fighting for yardage up to the 19-yard line. I'm Derek Williams, starting receiver. Here's our starting lineup. Quarterback, Anthony Morelli. He's a gunslinger. Running back, Tony the Horse Hunt. You better get out of his way. Offensive line. We have Levi Brown. Big country. Uh, he's an All-American. The Penn State offense, the Tennessee defense, neither rank very high in their respective conferences after 12 games. Morella to throw on first down. Floats it sideline. Completing a perfect throw to Deion Butler. Better than Morelli did on the first one. Hunt the fifth leading rusher all time in Penn State history. And it's not like they haven't had a couple of good running back. Derek Williams in the quarterback position right now. And a whistle will kill this play. One of the things, you Fire have extra snap. time. False start on the offense. It's number 64. Five yard penalty remains second down. Williams goes back outside as the flanker. Hunt is back in as the running back. And this is Morelli again. Another perfect strike to Butler. Hi, my name is Xavier Mitchell, starting left DM. I'm going to introduce to you the real UT defense. At tackle, you got Turk McBride, Camden, New Jersey, all SEC performing. And the linebacker spots highlighted by Marvin Mitchell. And the secondary, you got some of the best players around, highlighted by Jonathan Hevney, a.k.a. J. Horn. Another first down, Penn State, and it's not like they gave Morelli a couple of easy tosses to get started in this game. Draw play to Hunt, and Tennessee closes that one down at the 36. Right now he's out at the wide receiver, so we have Derek Williams again at the quarterback position. That's number two. A.J. Wallace is beside him, and Wallace get, takes the fake. Jordan Norwood, number 24, is in as a third down back. Morelli to throw. Three-man rush wants a screen. Hunt dives to the 28, close to the 27-yard line. Kevin Kelly not as strong this year as he was a year ago. 20 of 29 from field goal attempts. But he's a gamer. Had the game winner in the Orange Bowl a year ago. This is a 49-yard try, and he pushed it. 45, excuse me. First missed field goal just as negative for Kevin Kelly. Ainge leads them out, and the handoff Fumble. Balls on goes the to Hardesty. The ball is loose. Tennessee got it back to begin this season. Ainge goes to the shotgun. Quick out complete only for a couple of yards to Lucas Taylor. Hi, I'm Aaron Sears, off the tackle from Russellville, Alabama. Starting at quarterback today is Eric Ainge, the Western slinger from Oregon. And then you got the two big play receivers. You got Robert Meacham from Tulsa, Oklahoma. You got Jay Swain from Northern Alabama. And then at the right tackle, you got Eric Young representing Union South Carolina, country boy. And then you got me on the backside protecting EA. Third and long. Ainge under pressure hit as he throws the ball's incomplete. Meacham had a shot at it and couldn't hold it. Right. For Tennessee, he's out of this ball game as well. Colquitt. Kicks to Derek Williams, and Williams bumped as the ball got there. And now they switch back to Morelli, and Williams goes into the slot. Another good throw by Morelli. This complete to Williams, then he couldn't hold it. Coming into this season as a first-year starter. He's out as a flanker. They'll give the ball to A.J. Wallace, and Wallace gets up to the 34. These are the kind of formations yeah. teams have gone to it totally as their offense. It's very effective no matter which way you do it. Morelli buying some time, throws on the run sideline. That looked like it was out of bounds. Draw play to Hunt. 
Hunt diving for the sticks. He's going to be Eight about five. a half yard short. Holding on the offense. Number 64. 10 yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Replay second down. It's a big penalty for Tennessee. It helps them. Second and very long now for Penn State. Hunt again. Big hole up the middle. Got the penalty yardage back in a couple. Tennessee shows blitz and they come with it. Morelli waited as long as he could and got it to Derek Williams. Detri deciding to come All with sides. some pressure. On the defense. Number 20. Five yard penalty. Two very important cogs in this defense. Morelli another roll to the right. Throws on the run. Batted away. Incomplete. Morley. Kapanos was a third team Associated Press All-American. Floats this one high. Fair catch signaled and made. Nothing, nothing. First quarter. Tennessee with its second possession. Montario Hardesty, the running back. Ainge fakes to him. And throws complete. Out at the 41 yard line to Jason Swain. Two tight end formation. Ainge to throw out of it. Complete to Swain. Has been bothered by a bad ankle. Looked pretty good on that one. And yeah. Swain all the way to the 35. And tackling is such a huge thing. Hardesty into the middle of the line. Uh, it's not bad when you help produce those two guys, Peyton and Eli, at two different schools. Ainge, sideline. That's the All-American Meacham. And Meacham taken out of bounds. And they've had to change up that receiving core because of Brett Smith's loss. And yeah. short set. And you know what? This right here is a big problem with Tennessee's yeah. offense. So they'll go for a 44-yard field goal from Will Hoyt, who's had a brilliant year, 17 of 21. Trying to give Tennessee the lead. And it's good. Will Hoyt puts Tennessee on the board first. Penn State misses a long field goal. Tennessee connects on one. The difference, 3-0. First quarter of the Outback Bowl from Tampa. In North Canton, Ohio? I think he meant old. <laughs> Nice kick, and Penn State will have to take it at the 20th. They have statues outside their respective stadium. I thought that was great. Hunt back on the ground attack. We'll pick up about three. Hunt again. See the power again. Boy, Hunt. he is. Brandon Snow is in as the blocking back. He's number 30. Third and a yard. Hunt. Got it. Morelli with time. That's a long, dangerous throw, but complete to the sideline to Norwood. And Norwood fighting for extra yardage. I thought that was going to be picked off. Well, Morley went for the interception. When Morley thought he had a pick six. Morelli floats this one high and incomplete. You want to make a big play every time you throw, every time a pass play is called, and you can't do that. Hunt. Boy, he's tough. 230. He just. Hunt. Good stop right there for the Tennessee sure defense. Was. Beautiful high spiral. Hefty backs up. Uh, makes a fair catch, catch it inside the five. 257 yards rushing coming into this game. He lines up four yards deep in the end zone, and he'll get this carry. Nice hole off the left side, and he roars ahead up near the 13-yard line. Hey, Deion Butler here, starting wide receiver, former DB, so I'm going to announce the defense. First, we have a terrific defensive line starring Jay Alford, a.k.a. Yum Yum, watch your snacks. Then we move on to our terrific linebackers, star by one guy, Daniel Sean Paul. Watch him play. They all play the same. You'll know what I mean. Then we move on to our secondary, led by Justin. Don't 
Throw My Way King. And on the other side is Tony Ono Davis, because that's what you'll say when you've thrown his way. Go, Penn State. Tennessee getting some. And that will be the end of the first quarter from Tampa. You're watching the Outback Bowl. 3-0, Tennessee. Nothing. Zero rushing yards before those last two plays of the first quarter. And Foster stays in there. Ains play fake, goes on the screen to Meacham. Meacham breaks a tackle. See, that's Taken what he down do. by Connor. May have had another he first down. Nice. Bam, bam, bam is run behind Eric Sears. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Foster, they found something in the middle of that Penn State defense. Three carries, 20 yards so far for Foster. And around, loose ball. Still loose. Penn State's got it. Foster tried to hand it to Swain. It was a bad handoff. Derek Williams to take the direct snap. And Williams will take off. Points any way they can. Morelli. Out in the flat, and that's complete to Norwood, and Norwood wrapped up. And Morelli. Williams this time will make the catch and should have the first down. Nice throw by Morelli. Hunt on the draw. Inside the 10, mark it inside the 8. Backed up a little bit, maybe a little fatigue. Go at him. Wow. Second down and Hunt Hello. never had a chance. Turk McBride said, I've seen enough of this. You better block 90. The he, guard went to the right yeah. instead of the left, and Turk McBride. That was a huge play. Running backs don't like those plays. Oh. Movement, left tackle, now it's out. False start. False start. False start. On the offense, number 67. Five-yard penalty. Everything happens a little bit faster. Third and 14. Pressure comes fast that time. Morelli. Throw it away. What you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Kelly, who has missed from 45, will try this from 34. Penn State has tied the game. This entire bowl season, you've heard players introduce their teammates for the starting lineups. Law and Wallace are deep. That was the original. Todd Blackledge, the first player to ever introduce his teammates. They'll start from the 21-yard line. You want to speak to me for a few days, I'll though, bet. because I, I said bet. some things that were a little personal. Yeah. Tennessee's had some success. They have been attacking the middle yep. Yep. of that Penn State something. defense. Defensive tackle, Steve Roach, number 53, in for Ed Johnson, the suspended starter. Meacham on the handoff, and Alford saw that one coming. Yeah. Is Johnson not here, but a big play by Jed. Second and 16, Ainge goes to Foster on the draw. Foster out to the 35, yeah, caught from behind. Third and eight. Because Lesney and Connor haven't been that much of a factor so far. Here's a little swing. Foster nice. wide open. He's got the first down. Nice read by Ainge. Fresh set of downs with 8.59 to go in the quarter. Hardesty comes in. Prior to snap. False start. On the offense, number 86, five-yard penalty, remains first down. Straight well, ahead, handoff, is. not much. Alford, Alford is playing he, a ball game. He now, really is. You. That's pretty good. He better use one. Because Alford is just eating him up. Brown out in the flat and the tight end. Drilled by Connor is enough third and seven. Ainge wants to change the play. Blitz coming. They pick it up, throw underneath to Brown, and Brown. And you see those two linebackers. Tackle to 45 right there. And, and the coaches said that Dustin, who preceded him, just had a baby, and uh, Phil Fulmer said he sent him the scholarship papers already. 
Great bounce. And Tennessee will down it inside the 10-yard line. Three of those teams are playing in BCS bowl games. And the only reason Wisconsin is is you can't have three from the same conference. Exactly. Penn State trying to get some operating room. Hunt. Big hole up the middle. Hunt, 20, 30, 34-yard line. Gain of 24. So they had him backed up, and Penn State escapes after the 34. Hunt again. And I'm not sure if the last two plays unbalanced line to the left or move people around and, and uh, play some guys that maybe weren't quite ready to play this year. But they've held their own. They've won nine football games. Morelli wants a screen. Matt Hahn. Nice job setting up the block. First down and more. Hahn got a good block from Ornberger. Yeah. Did I get this much better <laughs> in one play? Back to Hunt. Boy, he's just going to wear you down. Yeah. Morelli with that touch again down the sideline. Complete inside the two-yard line. Deion Butler, that's the way they started the game with that beautiful touch toss. Well, they're reviewing, but watch his right foot. The ball is secured. Right foot down, and we can't see from there if he's bobbling it, but it didn't look like it. Hands review. Video confirms the call on the field. The catch is good. First down, Penn State. 90 yards on six plays so far. Hunt. Not this time. Good job by the Tennessee defense. It's the 16th play coming up in Tennessee part of the field. Morelli, good play fake. Touchdown wide open. The tight end, Andrew Corliss, with his second touchdown catch of the year. And Joe Paterno, because of that broken leg and the torn knee ligaments, up in the coaching box. He's Darn played very good. well. First half, 130 yards, touchdown pass, no mistakes. Yep. That may be the biggest thing on the stat sheet, no mistakes. Penn State with a lead over Tennessee. of heat, a lot of criticism for the problems of offense for Penn State. Not all his fault. Foster and Coker are deep. Coker will take it in the end zone. They're probably applauding for him today. Same guys. Yeah. LaMarcus Coker is in as the running back. He'll get the screen pass. This guy's dangerous. LaMarcus Coker drives his way out to the 38-yard line. What a beautiful day here in Tampa. Cleared up a little bit. Ainge under pressure. Shaw came from his left end spot, and Tim Shaw. And Tom Bahali, who's with the Kansas City Chiefs right now, and they move Shaw from linebacker to end. Pressure coming, Ainge fakes one way, then goes yeah. back the other, and Penn State yeah. had them both covered. But not too many play calls for this. Uh, you got to be smart with the ball if you're Eric Ainge. Fakes the draw, has time. Nice Throws throw. to Cottom, his big nice tight end, and Cottom got the first down. Add that play call to your to your chart at Penn State. Remarkable. Ainge with all day to throw, will go underneath. This is good quarterbacking by Eric Ainge. Going to see on second and short, draw play. Penn State is not tackled well in several no. areas. The draw play to Coker, and he's gone 42 yards. Well, Sean Lee, for some reason, was right there in the backfield. It looked like a loss of yardage play. And that was the second time in the first half of the game that Sean Lee looked very tentative trying to make a tackle, and that one really cost him. That's the explosive quality of that Tennessee offense we told you about. Kinlaw and Wallace are deep. A.J. Wallace from the one. Takes a hit, turns it upfield, gets to the 22. Now, are we in the don't do anything silly zone? At yeah, this absolutely. Point? Absolutely. Hunt. There's nothing silly about giving it to 26. No, that's a good as play call as any. And Eric said the uh, the ankle still bothering him because it is it is so weak. It's more weak than sore. Hunt again. 
Gets it out to the 35. Now the clock under the new rules will wind after they move the sticks. And Morelli now looking to throw with a blitz coming up the middle. Yeah, Is that caught? Norwood with a dive. They were and they're going to say incomplete. Yeah. Roughing the passer on Tennessee. It's huge. Yep, it'll be 15, 15 yards. From the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic. First down. The key thing for Morelli, not taking a sack. Four-man rush. Pressure is coming. Runs away from it. And throws to the sideline incomplete. Derek Williams could have made that catch. Kelly's longest field goal, 49 yards. They would need to reach the 32 to give him a shot at that one. Morelli with time. Throws underneath. And Norwood will make the catch so far in the ballgame today. This has got to be a quick pattern. And call the timeout down the sideline incomplete. One out of two today. I'd go for the block if I'm Tennessee. A long kick, low kick, go for the block. Boy, worth pretty the close. Yep, worth the effort. Pretty close. Our halftime score, Tennessee 10, Penn State 10. Let's join Reese Davis in the studio. He has the Smith Barney halftime report. That success on offense, and they certainly did on this one. High and short, fair catch signal. Coker runs right into Sean Lee. Didn't get away from him that time. Really play well in that secondary. And they are 1, 2, and 3 in tackles on Penn State's team. Swain takes a shot and can't hold the ball. It's the safety, Anthony Scarato. Hmm. Well, he got him. Yep. That's for sure. Casey Woods, number 85, is in the ball game right here for Tennessee. Now a backup wide receiver. Blitz coming. Ainge got drilled as he threw. Completes it to Meacham. Yep. Ainge changing the play. Quick hitch to Meacham. He'll get a couple out of this. And Connor had him horse collared. Let's see if all the teeth are still there. Coker. Here's not Lesley. this time, Puzlozny, who has not had a big impact game. That shows how much a team guy you are. Be a first-team All-American and being willing to shift positions. Ainge with plenty of time, throws Swain, makes the catch how about at the 49-yard line. How Meacham. Got away with the push. That looked like offensive yeah. interference and nothing else. Pass interference on the offense. Number three. 15-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Replay first down. Screen! Pressure on Ames. Screen to Coker. And Coker is buried. Puzlozny read it perfectly. Now it's second and 28. Coker got away from one tackle, not another. Connor chased him out of bounds along with Tim Shaw. Only a linebacker would think it's funny when you break your arm, you know? Especially if you break it at dinner. Swain won't pick up much on the third and 28. I don't know how you had that mustache. <laughs> Great bounce for Tennessee. The ball will die Second inside time. the seven-yard line. Second time. First half, they went 92 yards on a drive. This one would be 93 if they could score. And here's Hunt. Gets the first three out to the 10-yard line. He's been a great leader for John Chavis' defense as well. Hunt again trying to pick his way. Mitchell again. Tony Hunt just passed Curtis Enos for third all-time at Penn State. Pass underneath complete. That'll be enough for a first down and another good catch by Derek Williams. Did in this month between the end of the season and today's ball game. Hunt back to old reliable. Mitchell is there again. Biggest plays they've had throwing the ball today has been a little fades to Butler. Put him over 30 yards twice. Big hit on the quarterback Morelli. Third down and three. Morelli out of the shotgun. Protection breaks down. He scrambles, throws. 
and incomplete. Stewart, nice play. Five-yarder against South Carolina, a couple 40-yarders against Alabama. Returnable kick. But good coverage by Penn State. Which is out to about six per school, too. Yeah. Coker trying to use that speed chase down from behind. Puzlozny says, I got some speed for you. But he can do that. Penn State defense starting to get some more negative yardage plays. And the positive yardage plays have been cut down. This has become a field position game. Blitz coming, they pick it up. Nice job by oh. Ainge again. Just nice waiting. catch by Swain. Yeah, and and Ainge. First down at midfield. Ainge time again. Finally some pressure. Incomplete out of bounds. Well, wait a minute. One guy saying catch, one guy saying incomplete. And they're overruling it with the possession of the football. I don't think so. Left foot is in, but does he have complete possession? And you see the ball bobbled. At the review, there's indisputable video evidence that the receiver had one foot in, but he was not controlling the ball. It's an incomplete pass. Ames goes to the shotgun. Penn State showing a front four, and that's it. Again, good protection. The pass picked off by Scarato. The man who led the Big Ten in interceptions with five gets a huge one here at the outback ball. And for Tennessee. Direct snap to Williams. He was going to throw that one too. Yes, okay. he was. Penn State facing a second and seven. Huge possession. Morelli guns that one. Sideline catch. Flag is down as well. Pass interference on the offense. Yes, we do. Number three. 15-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Morelli under a lot of pressure gets this one out to Williams. Williams across midfield to the Tennessee 48-yard line. Marvin Mitchell. He's got to do all that here on this big third down and 12 play for Penn State. It's a little coming out party perhaps for Morelli and would give you a lot of good feelings toward next year. Blitz coming. Throws that one off his back foot. Somehow got it to Williams. Did he stay in bounds? He did. Well, we had one that was ruled a catch that was overruled. I think the heel's out of bounds, but I don't know no. if it's a good enough look. After review, there's indisputable video evidence that the receiver called the ball, but his first foot was out of bounds, incomplete. Guys have done a pretty good job. Yes. Fair catch made just outside the state college is ready for Bob Knight. <laughs> Could have been right. Run into the left again. That, that's Boston. where Texas Tech, by the way, continues to trail New Mexico by one in the second half. Foster again, huge hole this time. Pounds his way out near the 40-yard line. See, if Tennessee can establish some success running the... Ainge under pressure. Throws underneath. Nothing doing. Brown, the tight end, wrapped up. And Penn State has not been able to put a lot of pressure on him. Third and four. Four-man rush. Underneath, complete, very close to a first down. I think forward progress is going to give him the first down. This is going to be the end of the third quarter at the Outback Bowl in Tampa. Penn State 10 and Tennessee 10. Well, down to the fourth quarter. Draw play. Foster. Nice play by Shaw. Yes, it was. Second and long. Ainge again protected well. Throw short, incomplete. Counteracting as if he was coming on a blitz. And he backs off, and Penn State comes with four. Pass underneath. That's going to be well shy of first down territory. As they will kick again. Williams with a chance to return one. Takes it out to the 18-yard line. Eight-yard return out of bounds.
Tony Hunt, the go-to guy, lunges forward to the 25. Last one to do it in the Kentucky game the final year. Now Tony Hunt over 100. Hunt again, picking his way this time. Boy, after initial contact, he just drags people out of the eye this time. They fake it to Hunt. Morelli. Caught at the 36-yard line. What a catch to Rail Golden. What Only a his sixth grab of the year. There are 10 men near the line of scrimmage. One guy back. Did you see the linebackers just turn and run the other way? This one toward the sideline. Is it a catch? It is. And another first down. Boy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> After review, there's indisputable video evidence that the receiver's foot was down, but he was bobbling the ball. It's an incomplete pass. Second and 10 after the pass is ruled incomplete. Norwood can't get away. Nice defensive play. Morelli, little shovel pass to Hunt, lost the ball. It should be an incomplete pass. You're right, it's, it's a, a shovel. shovel. I don't know if kicking on that paint's a big factor, but I think the distance still is a factor right here for Kevin Keller. Just over 50. Got hit. Got tipped. When you're trying longer field goals, kickers have a tendency to drive it, and it comes out lower, and it looked like Morley, number 20, got a piece of it. Tennessee, after the missed field goal, the significance of the going for the field goal instead of punting, they get to start from the 33-yard line. That one's tipped and incomplete. Penn State showing blitz. They back out of it. Ains with time. Touch pass. Wide open to tight end Chris Brown. I mean wide open. And Brown inside the 15-yard line. Anthony Scarato got to run free for a long time. Back to the ground with Foster. Ball's loose. Penn State has it. Tony Davis. Are you kidding? And there's a beanbag on the field, which means it was a fumble. 86 yards and a touchdown. <laughs> Tennessee fans trying to say that ball was down. Try to get you another angle. This could be very interesting. That's a fumble, I think. I don't think he was down before the ball came out. See, his knees are not down yet when that ball is out. The ball's out right now, and his knees are still off the ground. Game. Video. Video confirms they're calling the field. And Foster obviously upset. Right. They fumbled the football. Not only does Penn State recover the fumble, they run it back 88 yards for a score. Coker and Foster are deep. You don't think Foster wants to return 100 yards? Won't get the chance. That thing is drilled nine yards deep into the end zone. Ironically, Penn State had four turnovers against Michigan State in their last regular season game. Coker, their most dangerous back, is in there. Ainge out in the flat. And Penn State has defended the wide stuff really well. Brown is in motion. Now he resets as a wide receiver. Ainge under pressure. Long, high throw, incomplete. The number's on Ainge. He faces a third and eight. Pressure coming out for it again, and now Shaw flag is down. Pass is incomplete. That's going to be a hold from here. Williams low after a low end over end kick. 45, 50 into Tennessee territory. Penn State at the Tennessee 45, leading by a touchdown. You think Hunt might get the ball a couple of times? The big guy barrels for four, turns his back, and then goes for two more. Hunt just picking his way, nearly broke it for a big game. Clock running, 742 and counting. Well, you just wonder how a guy can continue to take the kind of pounding hold it to add to this lead if you can get me one. Oh, 
Hunt down to the 20. 20. Four straight carries. Hunt has gone seven, five, five, and eight on his four carries in this series. And ten more. Wow. In your face, second and an inch. Hunt, six straight carries. First down, inside the five. So you just see a tired defense and a strong running back. Clock is approaching six minutes. Morelli, only two guys on the right side, gives it to his man. And the Hunt defense, driven yeah. out of bounds at the five. Worse, they'll have a seven-point lead. <laughs> They'll give it to the fullback this time. Matt Hahn, they crossed him up, and Hahn inside the one. Fullback dive. That I won't make it for it. Brandon Snow. They're going to mark this one short. Kelly with a 22-yard field goal try. It's a 10-point right, lead every once in a while. Penn State having the best of it right now. But from the noise, it sounds like they all made the trip. Kick driven six yards deep. Now time of the essence for Ainge in this offense. Poker. This is a guy who can break the big ones. Well, you saw the speed right there. His Spun ability. out of bounds. They may not need it, as good as this offense is. Ainge under pressure, down he goes. Sean Lee. Ainge protected well again. Deep down the sideline, intended for Meacham, Justin King. It's but Penn State has done a pretty good job of keeping all of his games to minimal yardage. Ainge still looking, completes it to Swain at the 45. Pressure coming. And Ainge just chucks this one out of bounds. Game on the line, fourth and 10 for Ainge in Tennessee. Blitz coming. I don't know if they got the playoff. I think this is coming back as a delay of game. It's going to be fourth and 15. Delay of game. On the offense, number 10, five-yard penalty. This should be a good football team next year. Yeah. A lot of their skill guys on offense all coming back. Fourth and 15, Ainge can't handle the snap. Intended for Meacham under thrown and knocked away. Scarado came out of nowhere. Tennessee can stop the clock two more times. That's it. Hunt. Well, there's no quitting this guy. He is just brutalizing. And again, dragging, dragging tacklers with them. Of next year. Well, I'm sure Joe Paterno appreciates the thought. A lot of good players, a lot of talent coming back on both of these teams for 2007. Tony Hunt, our Capital One player of the game. 31 bruising carries for 158 important yards. And Philip Fulmer offers his congratulations. Joe Paterno, of course, right now is just heading for the elevator to go down to the winning locker room. Capital One Bowl underway, Wisconsin and Arkansas. We invite you to tune into that one. Our final here was Penn State knocking off 17th-ranked Tennessee. 20 to 10.